Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. We're in this series about our thoughts. And today's verse is uh, perhaps the centerpiece of all the Bible when it comes to what does God say about our thoughts. Let me read it to you and then we'll unpack it. Romans 12 says this, do not conform to the pattern of this world. So this world has a shape like a mold and we're to look different as followers of Jesus. How? But be transformed, God's word says. How? By the renewing of your mind. So you renewing your mind is the key to you living the best life that God has for you. You renewing your mind is the key to you being able to follow Jesus. If you're not renewing your mind, you're gonna end up having the mindset of the world and you'll make choices and have the appetites of the world. If you wanna have better appetites and make better choices, well, you've gotta renew your mind. Here's what the second half of the verse says. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. In other words, God does have a plan for your life. It's not a boring plan. It's the very best life you could possibly live. It's good. It's pleasing. It's perfect. The only way to get there, the only way to be able to discern and make the choices that will lead you to be the man or woman who you can be at your highest level, the only way to get there is by renewing your mind. Now that includes guarding your heart like we learned yesterday from Proverbs, but renewing your mind is, is really this idea of I'm going to filter my thinking through the word of God and I'm going to invite God to be in my thoughts and invite the Holy Spirit to also be a filter on my thoughts. You know, um, water gets filtered as it falls down through the earth, all the different layers of sand. And if you have a well, you can pump water up from under the earth and it's safe to drink. Unless the well's been contaminated by some outside source, it's safe to drink. If you just go to a pond and drink that water, you're gonna have stomach problems because of bacteria and viruses and stuff that are in a pond or a lake. But once that water gets filtered by the earth, it goes down through layers of sand and rock and dirt and sediment, gets all the way down into a well, hundreds of feet below the ground, that water has been purified. In the same way, our thoughts we filter them through. Is this thought that I'm having, does it align with the word of God? What is the spirit of God in me? Is the spirit prompting me that I should be part of this conversation? Should I be watching this? Should I be listening to this? Should I, you know, thumb that up so that social media sends me more of it? Or should I, you know, look away from it? Which should I do? As you filter your thoughts, God is there to help you renew your mind. And you filter them long enough and you'll start to actually think differently. You'll have different goals, different appetites, different desires. And as you act on the new appetites and desires, it will change the course of your life and you'll end up living out God's good, pleasing, and perfect plan for you. See you tomorrow.